Hello everyone, my name is Alexander Mendes and today I'm going to show you how to enable ActiveMQ admin page. The steps here apply for any data exchange version. The agenda for the video is first we are going to talk about the ActiveMQ.xml file. Uh, we are going to change this file so before we do something here it's very important that you take a backup the file is available under the X home message broker conf directory the change that we are going to do is pretty simple we are going to delete the lines uh, that with the greater sign exclamation dash dash and dash dash smaller sign at the bottom of activemq.xml file after the change it's going to look like this that we are going to see here uh, so the active MQ page is going to use the port 8161 by default uh, you can make sure which one is being used by looking the jetty.xml file look, take a look at this property here property name port value 8161 or any other port number after you have done this chain you need to restart the ActiveMQ by running the ActiveMQ script here in this example I installed the data exchange in a Linux box and I'm here under the the X home message broke conf directory I just look at the the bottom of the file ActiveMQ and I, I can see that so what we are going to do is that we are going to delete this line and this one here but before we do that I, like I said it's important to take a backup know. okay I have done that so now I'm going to add this file okay so I'm here at the bottom of the file what I'm going to do is delete this line okay here in the screen we see the different this is before the chain and this is after the chain so not now what I need to do is that I need to restart ActiveMQ I need to go to that exchange bin directory so I go two levels up to the bin. Let me clear here. Okay. Under bin directory. Oops. Sorry. I need to stop it first. It was not running. Why we see this error message? let me clear here now I'm going to start it it takes a very short time to start it okay this is the admin port running locally here on port 8161 this is the one that I'm going to test in the browser so here in the browser I just type the host column the port number slash admin now I'm going to hit enter okay the ActiveMQ console it's available so you can see the queues the connection and all the stuff so today you have learned the, the steps to enable the active MQ console page we'd love to hear from you please get in touch by support videos at informatica.com or by twitter info support thank you